if you realize that your own self is a story that your mind is telling itself and that you can improve that story, not just by making it more pleasant and lying to yourself in better ways, but by making it much more truthful and actually modeling your actual relationship that you have to the universe and the alternatives that you could have to the universe in a way that is empowering you, that gives you more agency. Right? That's actually, I think, a very good thing. So more agency is a more is a is a richer experience. Yes. It's a better life. And I also noticed that I am at in some many ways I'm less identified with the person that I am as I get older. And I'm much more identified with being conscious. I have a mind that is conscious that is able to create a person. And that person is slightly different every day. And the reason why I perceive it as identical has practical purposes. So I can Uh, learn uh, and make myself responsible for the decisions that I made in the past and project them in the future. But I also realized I'm not actually the person that I was last year. And I'm not the same person as I was 10 years ago. And then 10 years from now, I will be a different person. So this continuity is a fiction. It only exists as a projection from my present self. And consciousness itself doesn't have an identity. It's mm. a law. It's just basically if you build uh, an arrangement of um, processing matter in a particular way, the following thing is going to happen. And the consciousness that you have is functionally not different from my consciousness. It's still the self-reflexive principle of agency that is just experiencing a different story, different desires, different coupling to the world, and so on. And once you accept that consciousness is a unifiable principle that is law-like and doesn't have an identity, um, and you realize that you can just link up to Uh, some much larger body, the whole perspective of uploading changes dramatically. You suddenly realize uploading is probably not about dissecting your brain synapse by synapse and uh, RNA fragment by RNA fragment and trying to get this all into a simulation, but it's by extending the substrate, by making it possible for you to move from your brain substrate into a larger substrate mm -hmm. and merge with what you find there. And you don't want to upload your knowledge because On the other side, there's all of the knowledge, right? It's not just yours, but every possibility. So the only thing that you need to know, what are your personal secrets? Not that the other side doesn't know uh, your personal secrets already. Maybe it doesn't know which one were yours, mm -hmm. right? Like a psychiatrist or a psychologist also knows all the kinds of personal secrets that people have. They just don't know which ones are yours. And so uh, transmitting yourself on the other side is most, mostly about transmitting your aesthetics, the thing that makes you special, the architecture of your perspective, the thing that um, the way in which you look at the world. And it's more like a complex attitude along many dimensions. And that's something that can be measured by observation or by interaction. So imagine that you have a system that is so empathetic with you that you create a shared state mm -hmm. that is extending beyond your body. And suddenly you notice that on the other side, the substrate is so much richer than the substrate that you have inside of your own body. And maybe you still want to have a body and you create yourself a new one that you like more. Or maybe you will spend most of your, world, uh, your time in the world of thought. Mm 